Very excited to talk to the new women's basketball coach at Indiana, Kurt Miller, who had tremendous success at Bowling Green over the years. And coach, your thoughts about Bloomington, the Indiana University campus so far? It's been an unbelievable reception. The, the people in town uh, have been great to myself and the family and the new coaches. Uh, it's been received well by the, uh, by the coaches throughout the state. Uh, very, very exciting that uh, we're reaching out to them and, and talking to a lot of recruits. So can't be more pleased. A lot of uh, 16, 18 hour days right now, but can't be more pleased with our start. Well, and uh, some key transfers coming to Indiana. Kayla Holes, I know a lot of people are excited to have the hometown girl back in town. Great for Kayla and the Halls family, but IU family also uh, a local legend, uh, great player for us at Bowling Green, but unfortunately during her freshman year uh, season cut short with her knee injury, but uh, glad to have her back with her family and uh, what a spark. Uh, we've had a lot of great, great feedback bringing Kayla back home. Seemingly once a week, the Athletic Communications Director for Women's Basketball, Ryan Sheets, has a nice thing that he sends out in a press release. Last week, Claire Jakubisic, an outstanding player from Northern Illinois, MAC Conference Freshman of the Year, post player who knocks down shots, she's coming to Indiana. Another exciting addition, great building block kid, character kid, competes in the classroom. But as you said, coming off a great year in her freshman year, Freshman of the Year in the MAC. Uh, creative score, undersized post, but creative score can stretch the floor and step out, gets to the foul line and, and knocks down. She finished the year making 37 in a row, can really shoot it, but a really productive year. Great kid, Illinois kid, played in one of the premier AAU programs in Illinois, so opens the door for future Illinois kids. Again, a Midwest kid, a Big Ten footprint kid, a great start for us, great addition. We can't wait for her to get here. You mentioned the kids, the student athletes, you had a chance to work them out a couple of times uh, before uh, the, the semester ended. Your impressions about their work ethic and how they've approached this new regime here at Indiana? Yeah, exciting time. Well, NCAA limits the amount of time you can be with the players on the flo uh, floor. So we only had two weeks of two hours each, so four total hours. So we didn't become a, a Big Ten champion overnight with just four hours. but taught them the new system, showed them what we were going to do, and they really bought into it, excited. They worked hard in their four hours with us on the court. I saw more talent than I thought that we were inheriting, but more than anything, their willingness, their work ethic early on uh, they, was very exciting. They're very ex excited about the change and learning a new system. You mentioned some 18-hour work days. A big chunk of that was filling out the staff, and it looks like you got a good one. Why don't you talk about some of the people that you've had uh, hired who are going to help out the Indiana women's basketball program. Well, really excited that two coaches joined me from Bowling Green. We had a uh, staff that had been together in, in totality for 10 years, but Brandy was with me all 11 years. So Brandy Poole will be our recruiting coordinator, work with the post players, outstanding coach, uh, great experience, uh, an incredible recruiter, and her loyalty to our time at, at Bowling Green helped us have an amazing run, eight straight regular season championships, and five NCAA tournament bids in that stretch. So very excited about Brandy's addition. And then Kevin Eckert, uh, probably my top recruiter at Bowling Green, another person that has a lot of experience, 15 or 16 years at the Division I level, uh, has already connected well with our players, uh, has great connections with our recruiting class. So we've gotten a lot of people on campus already. So two huge additions coming with me at Bowling Green hit the ground running. But our newest addition is Chris Day, our new associate head coach, who's joining us from Philly and from St. Joe's University. A steal uh, was a finalist for multiple Division I head jobs this offseason, was also a finalist to become associate head coach at other BCS jobs. So for us to land him is a huge, huge deal for us. Brings us connection to the East Coast. We'll open more doors uh, out there for us. Uh, we'll work with the guards. We'll be my defensive coordinator uh, and is just a big, big addition. Can't wait to get him and his family out here. Here we are doing this interview and Cook Hall, your thoughts about the facility? Unbelievable. And to watch uh, the 16, the 15 year olds, the 17 year olds that walk on campus for the first time and see Cook Hall, uh, just a state of the art building. I've been walking around today uh, talking about how we're going to change some of the the, the the decor and the decorations and it just gets you really really excited it's uh, it's an easy place to work for 16 or 18 hours a day that's for sure uh, one of the best facilities in the country we don't take a back seat to anyone with this facility so uh, a great recruiting tool when it really gets rolling here under Kurt Miller at Indiana what's it going to look like on the floor what style of play can fans anticipate watching well hopefully an exciting up tempo style but more importantly an attacking style we believe in the pick and roll game so every single 
time down the floor. Offensively, we're going to get into attack mode off pick and rolls. Defensively, I'm a higher percentage man-to-man -man coach, but we're very scout heavy. So we're going to try to take opponents, their strengths away. Uh, we're going to be scout heavy and make them play to their weaknesses. And if that includes zones or presses and, and different looks, we've got to be able to do it. But I'm a higher percentage man-to-man -man team. But overall, an exciting, up-tempo, attacking style for the fans. And the players want to play that way. It's very hard to go into a player's home and say, hey, we want to walk the ball up the floor and we want to play games in the 40s and 50s. We want to get up and down the floor. So uh, we're really excited. We're going to shoot the three like crazy, and, uh, and, and I think you should when you're in Indiana school with all these shooters in the Midwest.